Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I will present an algorithm to test whether a given polynomial is irreducible. Suppose I give you a number, say, for example, prime number p equal to 5. 5 is an irreducible number, right? We cannot split 5. So the analog of prime numbers is irreducible polynomial. Okay. Essentially, you cannot factor the polynomial into product of other polynomials that are uh, smaller in degree comparing to the initial polynomial. Okay, for example, um, if you take x squared plus one, actually x squared plus one is factorable in g of two because we can write it as x plus one into x plus one. The reason is that if you multiply x plus one into x plus one in regular integers, you will get x plus one into x plus one means x squared plus two x plus one, but 2x is same as 0 because we are working in gf of 2. The polynomial coefficient here is 2. Therefore, we can say 2 mod 2 is 0. So you cancel out. So we get x squared plus 1. Okay. So that means x squared plus 1 is factorable in gf of 2. If we assume the coefficients of the polynomial are either 0 or 1, then this is factorable. So the question is, Given a polynomial, how do we test whether it is irreducible or not? There are many algorithms for this uh, problem. What I'm going to present is based on Fermat's theorem. Uh, we looked at Fermat's theorem for integers to check whether a number is prime or not. Uh, we randomly generated a lot of uh, sort of witness and we checked whether a power p minus one is congruent to one mod p. Okay, we randomly generate a lot of A's. If this condition is violated, then we can conclude that P is not a prime. However, if it is satisfied, meaning A power P minus one is equal to one mod P, we cannot conclude P is prime or not. We try for lots of A's and we proved that if P itself is not a prime, it is easy to find uh, A to show that this um, particular property is true. Therefore, we can conclude P is not a prime, okay. This is something we already discussed when we talked about Fermat's theorem-based primality testing. So let us get back to this problem now. So we have to map this to the world of polynomials. What we will do, we are given a polynomial P, not a prime number, it's just a polynomial. We will randomly generate lots of polynomials A. So A is a polynomial of smaller degree than P, right? This is also a polynomial. And if we find a, a witness, right, a witness polynomial A such that A power P minus one, okay, this in this case, P minus one has a special meaning. Let me rewrite this, is same as degree of P minus one is not equal to one mod P, then we can conclude P is not a irreducible polynomial, okay? Implies P is not a irreducible polynomial. However, if you are not able to find the any such A after trying quite a, num quite a few A's, then with high probability, we can conclude that P is irreducible, okay? So that is the idea of this randomized algorithm. Why did I put degree of P minus one here? This is exactly the same from a structural point of view here. A is a polynomial, here A is a number, okay? P is a polynomial, here P is a number. This is actually the order of the group, right? Z star P order is P minus one. So this is same as the order of the, of the multiplicative group in the, in the world of polynomials, okay? If you exclude the zeroth polynomial, you will have degree of P minus one polynomials uh, in your um, space of polynomials. That is the reason why we do degree of P minus one. Let me now show you my Python implementation and uh, play with a few examples. The basic property we need to check is as follows. We check whether A power degree of the polynomial minus one, that is what I call it number of polynomials. That's the degree of P minus one or in this case, f, degree of f minus one, right, is not equal to one mod f. That's exactly what I'm doing here. I'm using the square and multiply algorithm we learned earlier uh, to compute this, this part, right? And checking whether, uh, whether this is not equal to one. If you find it is not equal to one, then we can conclude that this is actually not a irreducible polynomial, okay? Second bit, x square plus x plus one. And we will check whether this is irreducible or not. It is irreducible. On the other hand, let's try 
another polynomial, let's say x square plus one, and to check whether this is irreducible. It is not irreducible because we can factor it into x plus one into x plus one. Okay. Right. Let me show you a large polynomial. Um, this is a polynomial used in GCM algorithm. So 128 is x power 128 and x power 7, x power 2, x power 1, and x power 0. So let's see whether this is irreducible. It should be irreducible. Okay. Yeah, it is irreducible. So we, we can use the Fermat primality testing idea. Uh, there are some corner cases where this will fail. The same properties that we talked about, um, Carmichael numbers apply here as well. 